guys, I'm Lillian, aka Stitching Me on Instagram and here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. I hope you find something of interest. Today is the 25th of June 2022 and I am back with a new flush tube update. So today I've got two whips to show you, um, both of my whip goggles and for this month. And I am going to um, give you a little bit of a live update and lastly we will get into the garden um, and show you where that is at. Um, yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. First of all, this tiger. This is my focus piece for the year. Uh, I found him on Etsy, searching him on 28 counts, Jogelin 2 over 2 full cross with the call for DMCs. Um, my goal for this year is to finish it. And if I make it with all of my Whipco goals, I will. I will insert a picture of where it was last time here. And this is where he's at now. I gotta take it all the way back with this one. Yeah, this is all. Um, so basically what I've been working on, I can't remember if I already had finished that page last time. I don't think so. Maybe almost, but uh, I was working on this page, finished that and um, got a lot done in this page. So that was 903 stitches since you've seen it last. It is now up to 81.26% done. So we are getting pretty close. Um, over 80% done. And the last full page, actual full page, is this one. Like, there are pages below there that have, that are, that are almost full coverage, except for they, they still have some of, uh, some blank stitches. Um, so it's pretty exciting to know that that's the last full page. And my goals for Whip Go, um, by the way, when I finish that, that page that I'm working on now, I will have finished my goal for Whip Go this month. Um, and my goals for Whipco for this piece all are by pages. So even though it only has like 200 stitches on a page or whatever, that still counts as a page to me. So yeah, we are getting there. Um, yeah, can't wait to have this finished. It would be the biggest finished yet. Like, that was my first piece, and it's pretty big. It's a dimensions kit. Um, but this one would even be bigger. And of course, it's not a heaven and earth designs or anything, but it's my first, like, bigger finish. When I finish it. It's not yet. <laughs> um, then my other work for goal for this month is 12 Bridge. This is a dimensions gold collection kit. Oh, sorry for the glare. I guess you can see it. Kind of. Um, the Mansions Gold Collection Kit. Um, Switching it with everything that came with the kit, including the 18 count Ada and all of the flosses. Um, my goal for this year, I believe, was two pages. And my Whipco goal was half a page. Uh, I already had finished one page. I will show you that in a second. Now, I usually stitch on this in Leeuwarden, and so I um, take video clips, like vlog style video clips, and show you those in my video. Uh, I have filmed in Leeuwarden, however, um, it will take um, away some of the editing if I just show you where I'm at now, since I've got it here. Uh, I needed to take it with me to Apeldoorn uh, in order to be able to finish the goal in time. Uh, so I did, and I can finally show you now. Um, so I'm just not going to show you the clips and I will, if I have a picture of where I was last time, I will insert, insert it here, but I don't think I have one. <laughs> so this is where, where we are at. Um, so yeah, Whipco goal for this year. Before I started, um, okay, my brain is all over the place. I'm sorry. First things first, I am making up pages myself. So I divided 
the entire pattern, which is just two giant pages like most uh, dimensions kit, um, into pages four wide, three high. On the beginning of in the beginning of the year, I had these three done. And my goal for this year is two pages. So this one and then I guess that one or another one or I will just spin a wheel or whatever. Uh, one more. Let me get away with the threads. Sorry, give me a second. There you go. And um, so I already had finished half a page uh, and then basically the rest of it is new um, and when I finish this page uh, that will be the goal for this month done <laughs> and I will have to do almost 200 stitches a day from now on to finish it in time and besides that finish um, water hole master no not water hole monster tiger so it's a lot to go but I think I can I'm, I I calculated it and I think I can manage um, if I do almost 200 stitches for five days from now on then I have still still have one day to finish tiger kind of close because it's because it's like 450 stitches left on tiger and it really depends on how much time I have left on that day and whether I can finish it but I will try my best now that was kind of all of the stitching. There's a bit of stitching involved in the live update. But if you were here only for stitching, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you next time. Uh, and we will now go into the live update. So life has been kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, summer breaks coming up. And um, so we are um, in the home stretch with school, I guess. Um, I've been basically in non-stop back-to-back meetings uh, for the last two weeks and really trying to get things done. Um, both of the group assignments, uh, we basically finished a week early. So that's pretty good if I may say, say so myself. Um, it's usually you you set a goal with the group like I, we, we want to have things done like two or one week weeks in advance. And then once you actually get there, you're like, nah, not going to happen. Um, but I did this time for both of them, so pretty proud of that. Besides that, I still have, we had like three, uh, like individual assignments. Uh, two of those are done. However, I can only, uh, hand them in when I finish the third one. The third one is a bit more of a job still to finish, um, so, so working on that and then also there is um, my internship that I'm starting right after summer break. So I basically have to make sure that I um, register where I'm going to be doing my internship. Uh, and I have two uh, places on the go where I, I have to make a choice. Um, and with the, the second one, I am still trying to get a um, like interview, job interview, I guess, a internship interview, if you will. Um, and that's going to be kind of last minute next week because I want to fill in the reg registration form, if you will, uh, on Friday. Um, we will see if we can manage. Then also the, for the two assignments, the group assignments, uh, we have presentations um, on Monday and Tuesday. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> no. Um, sorry, there's something around my eye. Never mind. Um, so that's cool. Then, uh, so it's going to be probably busy right un until the last day. So the 1st of July, that Friday, I will still be really busy. And then on the end of the day of uh, the 2nd of July on Saturday, I fly with my boyfriend to Turkey for a week of holiday. So that's really exciting. So it's going, gonna go from hectic two, three weeks of nonstop me meetings and uh, really busy and still being um, busy with school at like 11 o'clock at night 
um, to a week of nothing. It's gonna be so, so nice. Um, I will see if I can uh, take some pictures or film if I'm uh, when I'm there uh, and insert that maybe in my next video. Um, but of course I have to consult my boyfriend if he's okay with that and stuff. But we will see. Um, I would like to share that with you. Then, uh, then also with going on a holiday comes the problem, the luxury problem of deciding which projects I need to take with me. So, yeah, it also depends on what um, the WIPCO, what, what the WIPCO numbers get called. Because uh, I don't really know if I really want to take my entire DMC set with me. Uh, we do have room, uh, enough room in our suitcases to take it. However, I don't really want to run the risk of losing my DMC master set or whatever. Um, so then Twilight Bridge would be good. That's a kit, so I can ju just take the kit. Uh, then also I have this tiny uh, Ukraine pattern that only has a few colors, which I got by the way. Uh, I'm not going to show the haul because it's just like seven DMC colors and a few bobbins. <laughs> and I have already wound them up on uh, bobbins in my um, master set, so I can't even show you. Um, so that would be good, also for on the plane. Um, and then water home master, I guess, because I can just count in advance and know which colors I need to take because I'm sitting in extreme cross country. So I can just see which colors I want to work on and take those few bobbins with me. So that would also work. Um, and then spring queen and tiger will probably be out of the question because of the master set that I really need to take with me. However, if um, the Whipco goal for Tiger gets called that there are two pages to be done that month, I might take it and um, restock my floss cards. Now I've been working on getting these empty. Like there is very, very little floss left on here. Um, basically only partial um, lengths. Um, so I might have to restock these in order to be able to work on Tiger when I'm in Turkey. Um, I am not going to take the entire DMC set. No, I'm just making the decision now. I'm not going to take it. So we will see and I guess you will know by the next video. I hope that I will be able to uh, film when I get back from there. Um, and if not, I probably will have time like throughout the rest of the day or the uh, like throughout the week after that to film because there's no more school then. So I will be off and yeah, it doesn't feel like I'm almost like in a week there will be holidays. However, there is. So it's mind blowing and exciting and yeah. Um, and hopefully a lot more teaching time. But I guess that's all of my life update. Um, yeah. Let me take you into the garden. So here we are outside in the garden. Um, first of all, these strawberry plants have been doing amazing. We've been getting way too many strawberries basically. Um, but then I let them dry out too much once. Uh, so especially this one has taken a bit of a hit. And um, there is not that many strawberries on there anymore. And the ones that are there are tiny. Look at this. It's tiny. It's okay though. Still thankful. Um, this one is doing a little bit better. And the ones that are on there are a little bit bigger as well. Um, but I hope they come back uh, sometime. Um, I am going to have to feed them again sometime soon also, like the second time in the season. Um, and then look at this. This is our first runner. I have never gotten a runner before and I always... I thought like there was going to be so many runners. Like there was 
but I thought it was supposed to be with strawberries and I couldn't wait making all these tiny little plants and I, I love propagating so yeah but there we are with the first one um, and I think next year like the beginning of the season next year I am just going to uh, these plants are getting huge a, bit, a little bit too huge for the pot so I'm going to see if I can because there are three originally three plants in every planter there's two planters um, and I will see if I can divide those and then also take the runner off and then fill it up all the way because this is not filled up all the way as you can see okay then the rest of it this oh I can't remember what it's called but it's supposed to be eaten like only when it sprouts like that but I just let it go and now I just take a little a few leaves at a time if I need a salad or something uh, radishes carrots now these are doing amazing these two are sugar snaps they are flowering like crazy there is a bee right there hi bee thank you for pollinating my plants and um <gasps> no way look at this i have not seen this before this is going way too quick <gasps> wow are these ready to harvest i need to look that up um, but then also in between here there is this is a another type of bean uh, especially bone in dutch i can't remember what it's called in english um but yeah so that's there and then this is a tomato that is not necessarily doing amazing but it's doing okay i guess um i need to put that underneath there maybe i shouldn't do this with one hand but like who cares right there um there's a tiny cherry tomato down there i think that's stunned it's not going to do anything but i will just leave it there then onions onions are doing amazing look at this that's doing great this one's looking a bit funky i don't know what it's what this is but if you know what it is let me know um, beets also doing great more than great actually look at that that's amazing um this is um oh what do you call it leeks these are leeks now um i'm kind of debating like i, I direct so sowed these but i recently found out that i am supposed to like bury them deeper in order to get a longer white stock uh, makes sense but i didn't so do i do i like just take them out dig a hole put it in deeper or just leave it let it go let me know in the comments lettuce is doing like way too well <laughs> this is going crazy and uh, we've been harvesting from the bottom of these and uh, one leaf at a time and since my parents are away now i can't really keep up keep up with it uh, myself but the snails are helping me <laughs> yeah pretty pretty a lot of snail damage this is just a tiny row of um, spinach uh, and when we go around the corner yeah this bit doesn't get a lot of sun and it's kind of a fail this year um, there are some carrots in here some radishes that is that are kind of kind of failed uh, i did take two that were edible out of there this week so there's some produce coming out of there. This is rocket salad and that's uh, spinach. And I have been harvesting tiny leaves for salads out of there. Then our potatoes. There are three plants in here. And I really need to hill this up all the way soon. But I don't have any more potting mix. Um, also, <laughs> it rained really heavy uh, a few days ago. and. It broke off like the majority of the plants um, so yeah it's doing amazing though I'm really curious to see the harvest there are two volunteer carrots out here then there are some her herbs these are basil but they are growing really really slowly um, so 
Yeah, I think they are not getting enough sun. Then out here we've got some green onions that have also been really slow going. Um, yeah, I don't really know if I will be able to grow anything out here. Those are some really annoying plants, these two, that just keep coming up. And my mom just is letting them go for now and then she will um, cut them off and smear something on it that will like make it die, hopefully, because <laughs> it's really annoying. And then we have two pumpkin plants that are dirty because of the rain. Um, they need to be cleaned, but they are also kind of stunted and I don't think they are doing much anymore. Um, all we can do is hope, but the raised bed did look really good and I am really curious to see how these potatoes are doing um, when we harvest them. So if you made it all the way to the end, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you guys. Um, stay safe, stay healthy. Happy stitching. Bye guys.